In the last video, we talked about hand-guided machines, and now I'd like to tell you a little bit about computer-guided machines and compare and contrast the two. The computer-guided machine comes with a much larger display screen than what the hand-guided machine does. It will have all of the features of a hand-guided machine. You can do constant, mach constant speed mode, and you also will have regulated stitch mode so that you will have precise and accurate stitches. You will have a basting mode. Most likely you will have channel locks. You need to check, but most machines will have that. And you will have a lot more. The lot more is that you have computer capability, very similar to your home computer. Um, the machine is very straightforward. And rather than using the laser or stylus to trace pantographs or to trace motifs to drop into your blocks, borders, or sashing, first you're going to select your pattern, which is easy with the touch screen. In this case, we have a fish. On this particular machine, I need to set the row height. I would like it to be five inches. And it, because of the design of the fish and the parameters, it's not exactly five inches. The computer read that that design is actually 4.962. If I change the pattern width to get close to a square, um, five inches comes pretty darn close. Um, and as you can see, I have multiple fish here. So if I was doing the pantograph, I'm good. If I only want to um, do one fish, then we change the width to five, and then we need to um, change our total height so that we only have one fish. And at this point, now I could go in and manipulate, manipulate the fish in a variety of ways. Now, with my pattern selected like that, I can stagger the design, I can rotate the design, I can turn the design, I can do a lot of different things with this sweet little fish. Now I can also change the size of the fish for how he fits into the um, square. I just have lots of options and when I'm happy with him in that particular mode, all I have to do is say quilt the machine does its little bit of thinking. It says, where do you want to place it? And if this was a, a quilt, I might go to the top of my quilt block. I'm just, for sake of demonstration, going to say it's right here. I press the button, and I should be able to hit sew, and we're off. In this case, the machine is going to do the guiding for me. I don't have to touch the machine. It's taking a couple of tying on, tying off stitches, and then off it goes. If you notice, all of the stitches are perfectly even length. They're approximately 12 stitches per inch. It's absolutely beautiful. And every time that I repeat this particular pattern, it will stitch out exactly as I have input it into the computer. So even though We've got the computerized option here, which definitely makes life easy. You can still go into the other modes. You can still drive the machine yourself and do hand-guided quilting. The sky's the limit, the choice is yours. So um, when you're doing your shopping, if it's in your budget, I would definitely recommend considering a computer-guided machine.